So welcome to supporting this event because we really um, are excited by the way MQ are trying to bring together sort of hardline scientists with people in the field who are trying to help people with people with lived experience mental health problems who have all sorts of expertise and ideas of their own about what may be helpful. And that can be quite a creative space. It can be a challenging space because people can be talking quite different languages. And what's very exciting and unique about this summit is we're trying to get all those different communities in one room to talk about where the cutting edge science is that really might transform the future. And that is both challenging and exciting. So I think the issue of how to address inequalities in mental health science is a big one It's going to grow over the years. And there are, I think, are three different things we need to think about, particularly us welcome as a funder when we're thinking about that. The first is in the, the issue of subject matter. So in terms of the actual research we do in mental health, we need to think about inequalities as a factor in people's mental health and how that might be addressed and what the research might tell us. So in terms of what we fund, we need to think about the subject matter. The second is in terms of who we fund. Are we funding fairly and openly? Are we getting the best and the brightest talent from all sorts of diverse communities globally? Or are we somehow skewed and limited in terms of the people that we are funding? And then the third, I think, is in all our relationships, our working, our partnerships, making sure that we are living and breathing anti-racist principles and that we are making sure we have a diversity and inclusion at the heart of the ways we work with all our partners and uh, in our own working lives. So I think it's important to have cross-siloed working and trying to create a new sort of energized sense of being part of a mental health science community as a whole, rather than I am a psychiatrist or a psychologist or a sociologist or a historian working on mental health, because that way we can actually learn more and, and have richer learning. One of the dangers at the moment is that people are within their own communities sharing information and uh, developing ideas, but there's not that cross-fertilization we need across communities and across different disciplines. And until we get that, we're being held back or holding ourselves back in terms of what we can learn and the ways forward, particularly for mental health science, where things, where the social, the, the societal and the cellular and the biological are all so intermeshed in complex ways. We need the brightest, biologi brightest biological brains to team up with the brightest, brightest sociological brains. And until we can get those two together, we're going to be ending up in these sort of arid debates about, is it more social? Is it more biological? Clearly, it's going to be a mix. And it's trying to get into that mix and trying to get people to go through that uncomfortable period of sort of speaking different languages to each other that I see as being one way forward. You should come to the MQ Science Summit because it is the unique place where researchers, those with lived experience and those trying to help those who are struggling with mental health difficulties come together to debate cutting edge science and next steps forward.